Hey guys, so this video is in two response from the um, different comments I've received on my boy's cage on the Petco Rat Manor regarding the wire floors and how it can cause bumblefoot. Um, and the reason I'm making this video is because there's a lot of information out there that um, is telling you that bumblefoot is caused by rats being on wire floored cages and this is not necessarily true. Um, a lot of that is old information coming from um, cages that were made of uncoated galvanized steel. Nowadays, manufactured cages such as the Petco Rat Manor, um, the bars are actually coated, um, which is, gives it a smooth um, texture. Ungalvanized steel, the, um, or uncoated galvanized steel, um, is very porous and it often has little. Um, ways of them getting lacerations on their feet. Very, very tiny lacerations, very, very small scratches and abrasions. Um, and because it's also more porous, uh, even though you cleanse the cage, a lot of times the urine and the feces, um, the bacteria from those, are still embedded in those little tiny pockets from the pores of the steel. And of course, when you take into account the fact that they're walking on these and they're putting pressure on them, they're getting those little tiny scratches on their the bottoms of their feet, um, and then that that bacteria is entering those cuts. That's when you get those infections, which we are referring to as bumblefoot. Um, so unless your rat is extremely overweight and spends absolutely all of its time on wire floors um, with no um, way of escaping it basically to a soft surface such as a hammock or um, a type of litter, that's when you'll look at more cases of bumblefoot. Um, just having them in a cage such as this with hammocks and different types of textures, you know, flat surfaces, litter, soft hammocks, you're not going to see, and, and, and being a manufactured cage such as this, you're not going to see that many cases of bumblefoot. It's extremely, extremely rare. Um, in all the time I've ever owned rats or talked to anybody with rats, I've never heard of anybody having um, a rat with bumblefoot, except those that made their own cages. They go to the hardware store, they buy that galvanized steel um, hardware cloth, you know, the, the little grids um, that look something like, you know, what you're looking at with the wheel. Um, unless they're making their homemade cages, you're not really going to see too many cases of bumblefoot. Um, Obviously, I mean, think about it. Companies are making these cages um, to keep rats in. I'm not necessarily saying that all manufacturers of pet products are safe um, or even really think about all the, the safety measures that they need to. Um, but, you know, for example, the Petco Rat Manor. It was designed to keep pet rats in it. It's from a, a big, well-known, uh, respected company. They're not going to want um, that that to uh, ruin their reputation is to far, you know, having all these injured or um, sick rats. So they're going to take as much measures as they can to avoid that um, when it comes to, like, you know, a product like their cages. So bottom line is, um, you know, I, I welcome comments, but um, I just want to make sure that there's more information, more accurate information being out there because a lot of the um, information that has been passed down, passed down, passed down with all these rat owners uh, regarding Bumblefoot is, you know, these cages are getting bad raps, you know, for having these uh, wire floors and it's not necessarily always accurate information or it's not, uh, um, you know, information that's been updated. So. If you have a cage such as this, as long as you're providing multiple um, textures for them to stand on, you're keeping their weight uh, managed, which you should be doing anyways for their health um, in all aspects, you don't really have to worry as much about Bumblefoot as you would as if you were to make your, you know, a homemade cage. Um, because the bars are coated. So, just wanted to follow up with that, give you guys that little bit of information, and um, hopefully that'll prevent... <laughs> a lot of you from worrying about your rats, and um, and if you do have a homemade cage, go ahead and look. There's companies that will coat, um, will coat it for you. I don't really have the resources anymore. I did long, 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 long time ago before, um, before I had actually went out and just purchased a cage. When I was thinking about making one, I looked into that, but I didn't keep it. Um, but it is out there, and. Um, if you have a homemade cage, be sure to have lots of different so uh, surfaces so that they're not applying all the pressure of their body on that steel um, uncoated 
uh, wire all the time. So, again, hope that helps. Um, for more information regarding uh, rat health care and recipes and raffles and all kinds of fun stuff, please visit my blog at www.ratwhisper.net. Thanks, guys. Bye.